So I will go just to the perspective view and I will mm, draw um, two lines. First, there should be flat. And then <clears throat> what I will do, I will just turn on the the points and move up um, the so now I see they are spatial and uh, they're not flat. Uh, I will go for the surface uh, tools and I will just uh, loft through this to um, let it be normal. Click OK. I will change the preview to the shaded and I see that the surface has been created. Some kind, you don't have to care so much how it is looking right now. Uh, the thing what I want to do is I want to take the surface to the um, to the grasshopper. So right now I have the surface. I can turn off and uh, stay only with the surface preview. And I will mesh it, a mesh surface. I'll go for um, 20 for both, but many of you have got the, um, I will just take also the edges, mesh edges. I'll go for maybe on the beginning just four. Uh, we'll see. Because I think the limitation for the educational version is just 50 elements. So we should not have more than 50 elements. Um, and the mesh edges um, distinguish between naked edges, which are on the border of the surface, and the interior edges. I will just take them all into one. Uh, I'll go for line folder. And uh, I will connect it to the one. Um, right now I have 40, but this 40 probably... <clears throat> Okay, uh, I will just um, go for the Karamba um, 3D, go for line to beam. Then I will go for the assemble model. And then I will go for the analyze. He is, uh, of course, turning uh, red because he don't have the supports. Um, I'll just uh, deconstruct uh, rep and connect this deconstruct rep to the surfaces. And then I will have the vertices on the edge. And I will use these vertices as uh, supporting points. So now I will go for the <clears throat> model, support, vertices, position. I will block um, maybe only translation. I will pre, um, make uh, three rotations. And then I will support the structure. And then I will add also the load. Um, loads. Um, gravity, let it be on the beginning of the gravity. <clears throat> and then I am checking if I have some kind of the displacement. I have 76 uh, centimeters of displacement. Let's go for the result and the beam view. And I already see the displacement. I will just turn off the other preview. I will just stay with this. But I see that the cross section is very small because by default, I think it's circular pipes. So what I would like to do is I would like to add the cross sections. Uh, 
now it's I beam. So if you zoom in, you see that this is I beam, but this is pretty hard to control its many inputs. So uh, we can try to use um, the <clears throat> read cross section from the file or cross section select, or maybe it will be faster here. And also there is something like um, cross-section range selector, I think. Maybe it would be faster to use this one. Mm, and then we can use the country, EU, I-beam, and uh, half, for example. So right now you see that we have the output of this is some kind of the HEAA uh, family. And then if we go for the cross section selector, add the cross sections, and um, then he choose the first one. Uh, so let's connect this cross section here. So here, um, of course, I will go for panel. So for example, uh, if we choose the name of the one we are interested in, He is delivering us this one. So if I would like to have uh, HEAA200, you see that um, uh, it changed. I think I can also add the indexes. So if I to, took zero, it's taking HEA100. When I am starting to change the index, he's going through the um, table, this one, changing, which I will check what is the 10th element. The 10th element is HEA 300. And this is uh, also the output right now. Um, okay. Um, the other thing is how to um, read the um, forces. If we go for the results, and take the beam forces. If I connect the calculated model to analyzed model and connect, for example, the panel, uh, sorry, uh, the, the panel, of course, but I just, uh, and I connect normal forces. I will have the normal forces. Maybe I will just simplify the view and uh, then the number of branch, it's the number of the finite element. Uh, so the first element has got um, the normal force minus 0 0.4, and uh, it should be like uh, 39. Okay. 